it seems that, uh, at least from this movie, it, it appeared that Chloe had no one that was there for her besides Josh, she even her own family. Sherry, you weren't even there for her, I didn't believe her. <laughs> 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 uh, it seemed like everywhere she went, you know, there was a diner, people there, police department, her own family, it didn't seem like anyone was there that would believe her, that she could trust with her struggle except for Josh. How, how common is that with people that are dealing with mental illness and how significant is it for someone when they're going to get healing and freedom to have that person or people in their group that will believe in them and, tr and believe them when they're uh, sharing their, their struggles and their, their trauma? So um, I have a diagnosis of being bipolar too, and I can tell you that uh, there's a lot of shame that comes with a diagnosis like that. I was diagnosed 21 years ago, and uh, there wasn't a lot being said in the Christian community at that time, and there was nobody that I felt I could tell what was going on. Honestly, I didn't even know what was going on. I had no idea. Um, I didn't think of myself as depressed because I thought everybody who was depressed was sad and crying all the time. I just did that some of the time. Um, and so I think it is that I was so afraid what would people think and what would people do if they found out and there shouldn't be that kind of a shame I would never be embarrassed to tell someone I had cancer you know and and so I mean I've developed a lot I've grown a lot um, I'm very healthy at this point in time and I mean God has definitely uh, given me great health and I think a voice you know to try to be an advocate advocate for mental health issues, and particularly in the Christian community. Um, I'm sure I had people I could have talked to that would have welcomed me to talk to them, but I felt so flawed. Do you know, I felt like, um, and especially because I was, very, I was very involved as a Christian, I wasn't just a sideline going to church on Sunday Christian. And so I felt like I was a terrible Christian because I was depressed, and I thought if I did really know God, then I wouldn't have that, do you know? And then so I didn't want other people to to judge me and think I was a bad Christian because I wanted to please everybody. That was part of my disease, you know, wanting to make everybody love me and like me. So 